Some 50,000 small and medium-sized enterprises will get a boost in adopting new tech, such as AI and cloud services, in the next five years. It's under a new blueprint launch to help support their digitalization journey with new schemes as well as enhancing existing ones. Well, for one, a pre-approved list of subsidized tech solutions will include those that are more AI-enabled. Companies will also be encouraged to adopt cloud-based systems, which means they won't have to maintain expensive infrastructure. These aim to help them become more efficient as they grow. So SMEs adopting many of the solutions, pre-approved solutions, have the assurance that over time, as they adopt more and larger suite of digital solutions, those solutions talk to each other, interoperate, and can scale much faster as the enterprises scale their businesses. Authorities will identify and recommend solutions that will also take cybersecurity into account. New guidelines and tools will be developed to help SMEs be more resistant to cybercrime. Workers will also get help to pick up digital skills with around 18,000 to get training on in-demand tech skills such as AI. Well, the Infocom Media Development Authority expects 15,000 SMEs will take up AI-enabled solutions over the next two years, up from 3,000 last year. Nicholas Ng speaks to some firms that had taken up digital tools and how it has helped them improve sales. Okay, let's take a look here. Eyes on the screen, what does it say? Okay, let's go and solve it. At this childcare centre, teachers use ChatGPT to help come up with lesson plans. Behind the scenes, it manages customer relations through this specialised software, which was partially financed by a programme to help SMEs adopt digital tools. So mainly it helped offset the licence fees and then helped us with some consultancy to implement it. It means we can stay on top of inquiries, make sure that none get dropped off or none get missed. We can analyse which marketing campaigns were not the ones that people clicked on the most, but which ones actually led to a uh, purchase of a, of a course. So, so it's, from that respect, it gave us a lot more insight than what we would have had otherwise. For this musical instrument retailer, it had to shift gears to selling products online after over five decades as a brick and mortar store. The space is now used as a set for marketing videos, which then go on to drive sales from a cyber audience. While the rebranding has helped the company engage customers better, it says SMEs can find it difficult to get the right help. There are a lot of hidden costs that we won't see, like um, platform fees, uh, maintaining your website, logistics, uh, financing fees, payment gateways, and so on. All this all adds up. Most SMEs, like us, we have been so preoccupied with the survival, uh, being, being in the business, that we, although as much as we appreciate the government assistance, um, but to navigate the web of all these different solutions out there is not easy. To help such firms, industry roadmaps that are currently used to help specific sectors go digital will be refreshed.